Hey guys, welcome back to the LaFontaine Classic Car YouTube. You're here with Mackenzie today in a 63 Fuley. It's a channel where we uh, go through all the rides we got for sale. This is one of just a few built the L84 Fuley. Tune in. So 63, a big year for these cars. Obviously the first time they got the new body, there's all sorts of great new things happening. Um, the largest motor available at this time was still the 327, but they came out with this pretty slick option um, known as the, the Fuli, I think it's RPO code L84, which made quite a bit of horsepower. It almost made big block power really um, out of a tight little package. I want to give you guys a walk around before we get into that engine compartment of the attention to detail. This car received a concourse level rotisserie restoration. It is ridiculous. It's over the top. All of this is just incredible. The fitment is A++. Um, this gentleman strictly does Corvettes and it shows. Um, the fitment, the paint, this is a factory Sebring silver laid on here over the red vinyl interior. This is a two top car as well, which is awesome. And another slick option I got is the power windows. I will give you a, a full wrap through the interior in just a few minutes. I want to pop this hood open for you. Oh, better pull that a little harder. And we lift this up. Wow, <laughs> the attention to detail is crazy. Um, this big radical box here is beautiful. I love that manifold. You've got your Corvette flags on top. Um, this whole intake system is crazy. Um, all these polished hard lines everywhere on our Rochester fuel injection unit is gorgeous. Um, this sits on a Winters intake manifold. Um, this is a numbers matching block. Um, date correct everything up on top. Um, Harrison radiator, correct fan with clutch and everything on there, the right alternator, the list goes on. I mean, it even has the proper old style battery there. Um, pretty crazy cool. Um, in our photo gallery, I want to mention to you guys, I've got close ups of every part number and tag, um, date casting, um, you know, block stamping, all the good stuff you could ever want to see is there. Um, Attention to detail is what I want to try to capture here today. It is damn impressive. This car is like showroom new. Um, before we leave the engine compartment, I want to point out too, we do have the power um, brakes, which is nice. Now down this side of the car, we'll notice lovely body lines. This is a no hit body. Hasn't been any repairs done to it. Fitment on the door is great. How does it open? Smooth as butter. The seals, all the fasteners look great. The door card is impressive. These are so slick. You get a, a look at the jam. You look inside of the door there and you, you notice attention to detail on all these fasteners. Um, everything in there got a coat of paint on it. Very sharp car. And how does it close? pretty effortlessly. So we did see this rear end on the 62. Um, I love it on these cars. Got the reverse lights built into the, the rear valence here. We got exhaust exiting just below these beautiful chrome bumpers. Nice slick, even have beauty rings around them. Um, there is a, a fifth wheel under here, a, a, a full size spare. We got our 63 plate on here. This is cool. It's, it's kind of fun. They change that styling just about every year. And next up, I'll climb in here, drop this top for us. We got one release here, one over here. And I mean, look how incredible all this chrome is. And then we're going to release these on either side. Uh, one more to drop over here. Uh, 
folds up and out of the way. And there is a latch in the middle. Oh, even it's, it's the small stuff, man. The, the simple things, nothing has been looked over on this car. The paint everywhere, the detail in these latches, everything's been re-chromed, re-coated. Um, our trunk trim, if you will, is excellent. And you do get a cover with the car. I'll move that out of the way. Everything's in fabulous shape. All right, so the next part of our process, this comes up like that. I mean, talk about attention to detail. Very nice. Simple like that. Top down, let's dive into the interior a little bit. Um, starting over, we got a beautiful set of instruments. Um, really, really pretty. And you'll notice there's just a 156 miles shown. That is since this restoration has been completed. That's just enough to work out all the bugs and um, I'll win a few awards. This, uh, this car here has the powered headlight switch down below on the left and also below the dash. There are a couple pull levers to um, allow for vented air, vented fresh air into the cab. Beautiful wheel in red. Love the three spoke design these cars had. In the center, you see our factory option clock is spinning around, counting time. We have some fan controls here in the middle. There is a heater in this car. It is also a radio option car and that's AM, FM. And furthermore on the option list, this car did get the power windows, which is great. It's got a 63 Corvette owner's manual. Nice trimmed out glove compartment here. Closes up nice. And now with that top down, the bright work on this car is 10 out of 10. This is crazy. Seats are in very good shape. The carpet is amazing. There is belts for um, both passengers here. We got it up in the sky. We're gonna give a quick walkthrough of it. Um, of course, everything is like brand new 63 Corvette under here. Um, every bushing, every suspension component, um, of course, been completely taken apart and either replaced with new or it's been reconditioned to be like new. Um, this frame is very impressive everywhere you look. I don't see any pitting. This oil pan, there's no spots where it's been jacked up. Hell, there isn't even a rock chip in it. Um, exhaust looks very nice. You can just tell with the lack of any pitting showing how nice these welds are. This car started out as a very clean um, C2 before it was brought back to this level. Transmission nice and clean. Bell housing looks great. Um, one thing you see every once in a while, uh, cars this age, especially ones with fiberglass floor pans, uh, there's some wear, whether they're soggy or cracked, these ones look mint. Um, we keep coming back, exhaust comes through the center of the frame very nicely and continues out back. And we've got a completely rebuilt rear end, of course all the rear suspension, 
is like new as well. Spare tire carrier is in wonderful shape. We have the little lock on here too with the boot. Notice the rear valence is crack free and in incredible shape as well. This is a 10. Thank you guys for tuning in with us. If you want to know anything more or see anything more on this car, definitely reach out and let us know. We just got some snow down here in Michigan, so I'm not going to buzz it down the road today. I have had the privilege. The car is tight. It truly drives as good as it looks. Um, if you guys want to know anything more, see anything more, don't hesitate to give us a jingle. The number is 248-714-2110. We ship these worldwide. We offer financing. And the process is really pretty damn painless these days. So uh, definitely check us out. We got a lot of cool cars on our website. And um, I'll link that down in the description as well with a, a link to view 100 plus pictures of this one, close-ups of all the stampings, the paperwork, all the good stuff. So thank you. It's Mackenzie with LaFontaine. And we look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Peace.